morning. Good morning. It's lovely to see you on this rather brisk morning down here in New Zealand. It's chilly out there today. I've got, um, I've actually got a hottie on my, do you know what a hottie is, people who don't look, a hottie? I have a hottie. I have a hot water bottle on my knee because it's so chilly in here and my hands kept getting really cold. So I got a hottie and now I'm warm. Anyway, I'll give you a couple of minutes to jump on while I clear my frog out of my throat <coughs> and uh, let's get started. Hey, here you come. Give me a hi in the chat. It's sort of the sun is peeping out. It definitely wants to be sunny today, but it's quite brisk outside. It's definitely chilly. It's nice to be wrapped up and cozy in wool. I hope you are too if you're down here. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're tuning in, do tell me uh, if you um, are sweltering or if you're doing okay. I'm hoping you're diving into those summer nits because that's always what we need to do when the weather's good. Alrighty, here you are. I've got a couple of things to show you today. The first thing I'd show you was I got a copy of the very lovely Knitter magazine in my mailbox, um, which has a really nice feel to it now. I haven't had the Knitter for a while. I'm actually, I, I flicked through this one and I thought, oh, I think I might subscribe to the Knitter for a while again because I really like it. Hey everybody, let me say hello to you first. Um, hi Sabrina, lovely to see you. It's sunny in West Melton until the weather gods decide otherwise. Mm. Well, it's same here, I think. Same here. Hey Robin, lovely to see you. Oh, someone's picking up stitches on double time. Here you will come. Hey Shona, nice to see you. <gasps> I, I just flicked over to Facebook, Morgan, and I saw that it was minus one where you are. That's certainly chilly. Heavy rain in Western Australia. Western Australia, I'm assuming Shona. That's not great. We're, we're so much rain. Um, oh, somebody's at home not feeling well, but they can knit and finally tune in. Yay. So I don't know who that is. Hey, how are you? It's a very cold and rainy morning in the far north. Hey, everybody. Some of you, I can't see your names. You might have to click a button so I can see your names. Hey, Barbara. I know, had enough of the rain. Barbara, we were planting some fruit trees over the weekend and um, we've taken some out and put some in you know, various things. And oh my gosh, down the bottom of one of our paddocks, it's so boggy. Just, you just squelch all the way through. And I was thinking, I think we've all had enough of the rain. Although to be honest, now the trees are in the ground. I'm thinking, oh yeah, a bit of rain. It's quite good. Come on. I want those trees to really, really thrive. So a little bit of rain is good for them. Cold in Adelaide says, Barb, it's seven degrees in Sydney Beck. That certainly will feel cold for you. It's cold and blustery in the south, says Terry. I, can't, I just don't believe it, Terry. I think it's probably blue skies and crisp and lovely. But if you say so, um, Anna in Auckland. Oh, hi, Anna. Nice to see you. Okay, so I was telling you, I got a copy of the knitter in my pot, in my mailbox. And I it feels nice. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's been a, a while since I've had a copy of the knitter. But, you know, I spent a long time in the UK and flicking through this just Oh, it always just takes me back. Um, all the things they, oh, they just do wool so well. Everyone in the UK. Um, oh, oh, Maru, cold and blustery. It's no good either. Now I'm getting warm with my hottie. Um, anyway, the reason I got one in the post was uh, because I'm in it. Well, there's a picture of, of one of my garments in it, and I thought I would show you here. And they're actually talking about summer dreams. And this is one of the things I love about the UK is that you can have pictures of cardigans in the middle of summer, which is, um, here we go. So there we have a full spread of summer dreams. And there I am in my um, Huia cardigan. And because the reason is because it's knitted in the very, very beautiful meadow yarn from Fibre Company. And it's a lace weight. It's like a heavy lace weight. It's a delicious yarn, and this was one of my, look at the colours, these might be new colours, I don't know, but they're really lovely colours. Um, it is wool, linen, silk, baby llama, it, honestly it's so gorgeous, I could imagine there might be sh shreds of gold in there as well, it's such a lovely yarn, it's really light. Here's some more colours down here, they have a great colour range for it, and then obviously all the ones that are in the pictures as well. Uh, but this is the cardigan they were talking about. Here, who are your cardigan? And I have adored wearing this. This is one of my favorite designs, I think, that I've done. 
and it's knitted in the meadow yarn it's so light now i know the stitches are tiny it's they're, they're minuscule stitches but it's worth it it is so worth knitting minuscule stitches into a cardigan for yourself because you will love wearing it um, and this one's just light and fun it has these little crop sleeves with the little um keyhole and the button in them which i rather love that was fun to work out and then it has a, a fun little back so the back is like this so it sort of curves around you but it just comes out at more of an angle on your back neck and then sweeps over your shoulders and just finishes at the front and it has all these lovely twisted stitches once you're done you're done because it's all um integrated the front band is all integrated as you go down i've seen some people knit um hilia and they've changed up the lace just to make it different for subsequent knits and that looks really pretty you can just take that panel and swap out something else if you want but it is so easy to wear it's lovely to wear it's light it is summery it's it's um it's sort of heading into the high summer here it's not high high summer for us down here but it certainly would be um it's good for most of the most of the fine weather but anyway I thought I'd show you that so they wrote to me and said hey we want to um pop a picture of your hooia cardigan in with a spread on meadow and would that be okay I said sure sure is so they did that so that's what it yeah that's what it is and the spread anyway it's a lovely magazine and as I said I'm thinking look at all this they're featuring all these hand dyed yarns in here and of course there are patterns like and this is quite cool they have this pattern for a cardigan which is not dissimilar to the one that I have got actually it's not I mean it's well not dissimilar in that it doesn't have buttons and it's a little cropped cardi uh, but it look it has this whole pull out section so you can actually take that one out and keep that and that's how they seem to do it with the patterns uh, I don't know how long they've done that but there's so, there's really good stuff in here there's a really cute pair of socks in here as well Penstemon socks Penstemons. oh it's all the things but I thought these two things were really pretty actually in the front I thought that was funky and I could imagine wearing that in the winter can you imagine it's knitter it's the knitter um but I could imagine wearing that in the winter with something underneath it can't you and sort of a chunky sloppy soft yarn all asymmetrical like that I think it would be groovy so that is in here I'm just going to tell you I can't tease you with it without telling you what it is um it's here it's Sir de Balm Sir de Balm is what I'm imagining Sir de Balm see it's not one of mine it is by Sana Mad Mod I don't know how you'd say that it's Swedish I think it's got a little o over the a or or I think you say or Sana Mod Mod Casterman Söderbarm something like that anyway it's pretty 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 funky so it's in the knitter magazine I imagine it's going to be exclusive to the knitter magazine for a while um, but the pattern is in here if you wanted to get hold of it marble DK it's a DK wide boxy shape I'm just reading about it but yeah it's all in here so this is the knitter um how do I tell you what one it is it's on the side no doubt 191 the knitter 191 anyway it's got some lovely bits in it and it just oh it just reminded me of um how much I enjoyed living in the UK I really did enjoy living in the UK it was so much fun but look there's a new dyer birds of a feather for those of you who are over there they seem to be a husband and wife team they've got some rather beautiful beautiful colorways there so there's lots of goodness anyway I thought I would show you that because that's a bit of fun and it came out relatively recently in the last month I think but it just arrived with me in the post over the last week or so so I thought I would show you okay let's have a little look <clears throat> someone says I love my hooia it was my first truly virtual knit and I use the fiber company meadow yarn and it's beautiful to wear oh I'm pleased to hear that it is it's lovely I um <clears throat> I would like to get some more of it I think it's a really pretty yarn hang on I've got to have a sip <clears throat> I've got a big frog um yeah it's a really lovely yarn to knit and to wear it's lovely oh magazine is the knitter yes the knitter 
I've just become a sock knitter, says Barb. I've cast on lodestone using gorgeous Dreamfire artisan yarns. Oh, lovely. So lodestone was a pattern that everybody can have. It was a, it was a Woodrick toolbox pattern. But everybody can have that now. And Dreamfire Artisan Yarn is a really lovely dye that we have down here um, in New Zealand in Christchurch. Beautiful yarn. I've got a little bit of her yarn and I've used some for socks. I used Dreamfire yarn for the DK socks I did, Maggie and um, Florence and Eliza. You know, there's a, a trio of, of socks. That was Dreamfire yarn. Beautiful. Hey Maureen, lovely to see you. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you first. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was I um, I glanced over at my wardrobe and hanging on the, my wardrobe door is open and then I've been flinging the shawls on the edge of my wardrobe that I have been wearing lately. And so I thought, I'll show you. I'll show you the shawls that I have been reaching for lately and it'll give you, um, yeah, It'll just be interesting to see what I have been wearing. So um, the first one is this, which is actually not a shawl. It's a cowl. I'm going to take my glasses off because it's easier to show you with no glasses on. Um, is my cowl. And so this is, what's this cow called again? Someone's going to have to remind me because it's gone out of my head. There's too many patterns now. This is the problem. Too many things to remember. Someone will remind me. I know Morgan's here. She's good, at, she's good like that. She'll remind me. But it's knitted in the round, no, because it's knitted like a tube, and then you get to the end and you switch it. Viva, thank you very much. Um, and it's knitted like that, and then you join it. And it's really fun because we, oh, look at you all. You all know it. Yay, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's really fun because, let me show you. Well, A, it's really easy to wear. I love wearing it. I love wearing cows. They're so easy to wear. You just throw them on and off you go. Um, I'm going to put my glasses back on again. But you don't really need to take them off for sure. But look, I've done this knitting, which I got the idea from um, a British designer whose name has also escaped me, and she's absolutely lovely, and I haven't seen her do much lately. But it's this idea that you hold yarn double in some parts and then single in others, and you, that's how it's done. So you don't, it's not a true color work at all, but you hold your yarn double in all the garter parts, and then you hold it single for these parts, and the other yarn car is carried behind it. But you can't see because it's all knitted in the round. So you just knit it in the round and it's really flexible. So I use two fingering yarns for this one. But it's super flexible because you can just make it as long as you short as you like. I just used up my skeins. And um, then I joined it by twisting it and joining it so that you have this curl in it. And then what we did after that, which you cannot see and I've got tutorials for it and I can't see when I go back over is I taught you how to do the um, join in garter, the, the Kitchener stitch join in garter. And then after that, we went back and we duplicate stitched these parts, these little parts that went over because every second one needs, you know, it needs to be corrected. And I cannot tell you where I did that because it's such, it's so invisible. It could be on, I, I really couldn't tell you where I did it. So um, it's neat. It, it's really neat. It's neat and tidy, but it's also neat. It's really cool. So it it's a beautiful polished finish is what I want to say. And you can just grab it and go. And there are no ends. There are virtually no ends to weave in. You just finish it and off you go. But I have worn that a lot. It's It's got a, a nice weight to it and it feels nice and cozy. Hey, Snap. Yes, everybody's saying. Evening from the UK, Joe. I was just showing them off the Knitter magazine, Joe, from the UK, because one of my cardies is in it. So, uh, and now, okay, so the other ones that were hanging on my wardrobe, this is the other one. And I have been wearing this one quite a lot. I really love this one. It's huge. This is a huge shawl. And this is, I know what this one is. This is Drama Queen. And it starts, look, it's got these two ends that look like this, it goes into the middle. It's a really fun one to wear, like that. And then that's the other end. It's really big. It's lovely and dramatic. Now, the way we knit it is super good fun. So what we do first is we create a triangle, and then we make another triangle, and then we join those two triangles together, and we go that way, like that. And that's how we create this groovy pattern in the middle. And then it continues down the side, see? 
and then we finish with it. And I've held the fingering yarn with mohair through these sections. So you get this difference in the yarn. I used Happy Go Nitty for this one. It's just glorious. So you hold it, yeah, you hold it together where you do the, um, it looks complicated. It's not an, it's not a beginner knit, but it, but once you, if you just follow the instructions, they work. So it's, uh, but it's not a beginner knit. And I have got some little pictures in it that show you how we're, what we do when we're joining it together, but you'll feel so clever when you've done it because it's, it's, it's not rocket science. It's just a little bit just getting your head around, okay, what am I doing next and how am I joining it? But essentially you're making a triangle make, and in another triangle, and you, we know how to make triangles, we actually start them at the top. So we're knitting a little tiny, so it's, just imagine it's a little tiny triangular shawl that finishes here, like that. And then we do another one for underneath. And then these stitches, because this is the bottom of our triangle, right? This is the bottom of our tiny shawl. They're all live and so are those. And so when you pick them up, you're just working live stitches and you start like this and you pick up, it's a bit tricky to show you, but you pick up live stitches from that side and from the other side and then you start knitting that way. Yeah, you have all the support you need in the hangout if you want to give it a go. Yeah, if you want to give it a go, there's, well, definitely there's lots of people that can help you, people that have knitted, people that will help you with it. But it is big and glorious and I um, have been just you can almost wear it just like another layer another whole layer to your outfit so I'd like to fling it over the thing one of the things I like about it is that the um, points go on either side of my arm so it's quite easy to wear it when you have the points on either side of your arm what I tend to do is I let me just see if I can do it sitting down you sort of need to be standing up in the shawl because it's quite big but I tend to wrap it around a couple of times and I quite like doing a big knot in it sometimes just so it's really cozy around my neck. But other times I just fling it. So I just fling it ugh, around me. So it's like this other big layer. Look, I feel like I'm all tangled. Let me try again. Uh, there's the middle. So I have the middle on me and I just have it up, down on one side like that and then I just fling it over. And then the ends, see how the ends sort of go over your arm like this? So that one like that, and that one as you're flinging it over, just sort of goes over your arm. So I sort of wear it like that. You can tie it up with a thing if you want and hold it together, but this one's really nice and it's so soft. And it's not too heavy. It's um, it's it's reasonably weighty, but it's not too heavy. So that one's Drama Queen. That's a good one. Um. <laughs> Yeah, no, if you want to have a go, it is good to do it in the Hangout because there's lots of people that can help you. So you can just ask your questions, you can post your pictures, people can show you what they've done, it's really good. Um, now the other one that has just been a constant in my winter wardrobe <clears throat> is uh, Juniper. I I love this shawl, I just wear it all the time, I think because it isn't, it's I just, I think I wear the the colors as something I want to reach for in the winter a lot. It's really easy to wear. And uh, I don't know, I just feel um, casual, cozy in it. So I wear this one like a bandana sort of style. So I flick it around. It's got these cool little tassels on the ends. And so often I will knot it, and so I will see a little tassel. And I like to make the most of the colours <coughs> in it that are changing. I'll show it to you all spread out as well. But I tend to wear it a bit like that. And I'm just going to pull this out. I just do a little, a little um, figuring out in the mirror very quickly before I go. But it's really easy, easy to wear. And it feels like, um, it, it just feels like I'm finished when I've got it on. But let me show you what it looks like all spread out. It's fun to knit and it's easy. This is an easy one to knit. It's nice and simple, but it's also got a little bit of interest to it. So you start in a corner <clears throat> down here, uses three skeins of fingering yarn. And you start in the corner, not with the tassel, tassel goes on last. And I use three skeins of yarn that sort of faded one to the other. It's perfect for fades. In fact, I've planned it for a fade. We just smoosh them together, smooshing our colors together. So you use the first skein down here and you can see 
that as you're working up you have a central spine and then this sort of lace pattern starts to appear on one side and then you've got the garter on the other and it grows up like this grows up like this and then we move into the second color see how the second color kind of fades in there and then we move up because it's getting wider as we're going uh, the second color doesn't last as long before we hit the third color at the bottom and so these colors sort of get from really pale right through to this sort of purples and golds at the end here and then the last row has got really really long so you're just getting longer and longer and longer as you go and your last row is from here all the way to here so you end up with three corners because it's like that a little bit asymmetric so it looks like that when it's finished see like so so you end up wearing it on its side and yeah it is quick because it's garter yeah it's good for practicing continental knitting is that you Ruth it might be I don't know who that is but yes it would be it's excellent for practicing continental knitting but then you end up with these three corners and I made three tassels and I made one out of each of my colors for my three tassels and I've got my hair in it but um so there's my pale color that I used and then there's the next one and then there's the next one so if you have three that fade one to the other it's a really good way of doing that and then I have a little tutorial on how to make these little plump tassels I think I rather love the tassels that's probably what draws me to it as well but so that one is juniper and I have been I, I've just for years and years this has been one that has been on regular rotation in my wardrobe so it's no surprise to me it's hanging up there on the edge of my wardrobe, uh, wardrobe just to grab as I go and then the last one is not one that everybody can get actually but I have oh my goodness I've been so enjoying the shawl and this is one that's just in wardrobe toolbox at the moment and it will be released next year so for those of you who want to join in September you'll get the uh, yeah September for the October start you'll get the opportunity to grab it out of wardrobe toolbox you you once you're in there you you get the option to buy the old patterns so um but they don't get released to everybody until they've been exclusive there for a year but this one is Dreamweaver and it, I love this shawl I started down here I use minis you can use all your scraps and minis I used some gorgeous uh minis from um Bonnie at Union Fiber from one of her advent sets and so I started down here it sort of looks a bit like weaving the shawl which is why it's dream weaver you started at the end with these cute little um pk and then you work your way up and you just fade in color after color there's a couple of different patterns through it so that you can choose whether you use one color for one pattern and then fade in the other one and alternate in the other one see this pattern here with the slip stitches is a really nice one when you're alternating so one kind of pops out of the other but it's really flexible you can do whatever you like with it so anyway it just fades 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 really long you can make it as long or as short as you like um, and then it just goes into these other beautiful earthy bonnie colors all the way until I get to pink and then I fit you finish with the PK bind off at the end so you don't change stitch count as you're working but it is on a bias and so you're increasing and decreasing all the time to make the bias happen but this one I love it that it has different colors and I love it that the colors really work with lots of my clothes wintry clothes so I wear this one a lot and I do I either wear it so I just put it on twice and wrap it around so it's all up nice and close around the top of my um, neck like that or I just have it undone one and then I can have it a bit longer it can look really fancy this one you can dress it up or dress it down so I have it like that and then I do like my knots and so I do knot it and then it will not go anywhere because it's got a knot in it and so you can knot it up and I love the way those two colors at the ends then um, play together because I just love it that it's got the pink and the green and everything at the same time at the end so that one has been uh I've been wearing that one a lot it's really nice actually it's really warm and sometimes I wear it at home and then 
I talk to friends of mine on Zoom or whatever, and they say, why are you wearing it? Why are you wearing a shawl inside? Is it really cold at your house? Yes, I'd like wearing them. And it is a bit cold at my house. And I have a hottie on my knee and a shawl around my neck. And that keeps me nice and warm. One of my friends, says Barbara, asked me last night to leave her dream weaver in my will. <laughs> and will you, Barbara? <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Now, I've uh, this one is lovely. I think you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> for those of you in Wardrobe Toolbox, if you've been in for this season, you've got it already. The way it works in Wardrobe Toolbox is that I release a pattern to you every two months. And so over the course of a season, which is six months, you get three patterns. And so you have access to those. You just They just come with your membership. But if you join later, you get to purchase the old patterns. And so you can grab those from inside the membership as well. So even if they're not available to everybody else, you can grab them from in there. And so that just kind of keeps it, it keeps it fun so that we've got some special stuff for us over there. So those are the things. Let me have another sip of my tea. I've still got that frog. <clears throat> but those are the things that I have been reaching for the most. They just sit on the top, uh, top of my wardrobe door and then I grab them. And in But now I'm looking at some of my boxes. I'm thinking there are some others in there that I um, I should reach back into again. Because, you know, you get you get into a bit of a mode, I think, don't you? And then you forget about other things that you've got so I must reach in because I can see my Flindra down there do you remember Flindra she's really large I've just I'm obviously having a large a mostly large shawl winter that must be what I'm having a mostly large shawl winter apart from my cow which is actually excellent if I'm nipping out to the garden my cow I'm just whipping outside I just throw this on and off I go because it doesn't dangle in the vegetables or anything like that if I'm going to you know get some things out of the garden for dinner but uh, Flindra is cream and pale blue. And she was knitted in that beautiful outlaw yarn with the silk and pole worth. You can't get that anymore. Uh, but she would actually be a great one to knit in the Truly Myrtle DK. Be a perfect match, I think, for that. You know what would be really nice, though? Oh, my gosh, maybe I should do that. Is knitting the sport weight with a mohair and holding them together. And then it would be the, the right weight and it would be so soft and delicious. Hmm, that's tempting actually to do that. Anyway, I probably should dip into my boxes. Well, it was lovely to see you, everybody. Um, I can recommend The Knitter. I think it's a really lovely magazine. It's um, it's kind of refreshing. I find it quite refreshing just to see some new things. See, look, friendly faces. It's um, 12 new shades. Here we are, curated by Sarah Hatton, Scottish Landscape, West Yorkshire Spinners. There's all sorts of good stuff in here. So have a little look if you have got it. I think in New Zealand they do sell it. I'm sure I've seen it at Paper Plus. But I'm thinking maybe I'll subscribe for a while. But if you want to have a go at Huia, um, then yeah, the Meadow Yarn is just perfect to use for Huia. And she is the one that's in there. If you live in the Lower North Island, the Knitter Magazine is available to download in Libby as an e-magazine. It always cracks me up that library thing is called Libby. But yes, there's a library app called Libby. You're right, actually. What a good way to get hold of the patterns, too. So you can get Libby as an app, and then you can download it through your library. It's through your library, I think, is it, Libby? Through your library? Maybe it's separate. I thought it was um, through the library. But that is a good, a really good idea. Yeah, I quite like having them on my shelf. But, um, yeah, I think that would be a great idea. In fact, I just said to my girls the other day, I think we should start going. We haven't been to the library after school for ages. We used to go religiously. I used to take my kids every single week religiously um, here and in the UK. And we haven't been for ages. And I thought, oh, well, let's start doing that again. Yes, through your library card. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Libby, the app. That's a good idea. Okay, everybody. It was lovely to see you. Uh, wardrobe Toolboxes, I will see you tonight because we have our knit night tonight. So um, gather your goodies. I've got some nice things to show you. Gather your goodies and join me later. The rest of you, I will see you <clears throat> next week. Same time, same place for another chat. And uh, have a lovely week and do heaps of knitting. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.